All right, YouTube, we got an educational purpose video to do. I did this video already today, but I got better information and to play the whole video this time. So I'm not gonna take the other videos down because they're factual, alleged factual information that it's already out there in public, got thousands of views. I'm just giving my opinion on it and showing it to y'all if y'all didn't look at the Swipe God's Instagram channel yet. You know what I mean? So I need y'all to understand to hit that like button for a real one. Now, what's going on is the guy that they call, you feel me, the goon squad. He's really a dude who has a good heart, it looks like, and he's exposing the girlfriend. I wouldn't call it exposing. He's more giving information. I thought it was Cap. I don't know if the rest is Cap or not, but one thing we know he's not capping about, he told us that the girlfriend of PNB Rock, they weren't they was not together and when i checked it was facts they was not together in march they had broke up around then and she started dating other people one of the people we know allegedly was almighty j at least that's what almighty j said y'all can go check his page gave her flowers say he'll always love her and pnb rock himself almost confirmed to some of these to a certain extent but i'm gonna let old boy speak his piece so we can get to like what sense this make you feel me i released a couple of videos so this is kind of low key part two i hope y'all rock with me and understand some of the things i'm gonna let him speak his piece hit that notification bell for me and rock out with the i smoke hip-hop live platform you feel me let's go hey man this is crazy man and i don't care who get mad at this point about this but i'm just i'm a, i got means i got motion i got stuff too so i could put myself in his shoes and i would want somebody to say this for me but i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all the truth of what happened they got the arguing and everything man and this girl really just tried him she really when they went through her phone they got an argument on rodeo think about it she never posted nothing about all the times they went out to eat she never posted no locations the dude that she used to mess with when her and PNB fell out was a robbing ass dude. So he, she knew that he was gonna see that. I don't know what source to what to what. She knew that that dude that be robbing that she used to talk to Educational follows them. Purpose. She put, they done went to a million restaurants. She never posted no locations. So the day they get into it on Rodeo and all this over, all over, cause he went through her phone. She see he finna leave her. He see she got, he got some. up. Hey man, this is crazy, man. Hang on, y'all. Hey, Hang on, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the second part of this video in full when he's showing messages. What I need y'all to do is hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and rock out with the I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform. This is honestly information that's needed to be shared and it, it, it's going deep man this is part two of the former video that i already posted but a lot of people told me some parts was edited out they couldn't hear some and i got a good balance of the music look i got two separate spots for my computers i got a computer in this area that i'm using this mic that's not so good but in my other area the mic is perfect so we got to do with this right now as long as you get the receipts and the message we did our parts let's go to the second part of this when he's looking at his text messages this is alleged by the way y'all because i don't know this guy but so far he was correct that they broke up before so he's valid enough that we can share this information let's go now his voice is kind of low on this crazy bro this shit out of control dog this shit, man. This shit crazy, bro. Like, I mean, he his voice is kind of low bro. on this. I just want y'all to see it, so I'm gonna talk. The messages, I'm not gonna respond to none of them. I want y'all to respond to the messages, y'all to look at them and have y'all own formulated opinions. What I don't want to do though is exaggerate. You feel me? And, and, and come up with my own feelings because everybody got their personal feelings, including me. But I'm a journalist. I'm a scholar. I can't come here and tell you this and that. I only can give you what's already out there. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm a fair person. I'm unbiased. Even if I know this individual don't like me or not, I'm unbiased, man. So this is not a biased platform at all. As you guys got to see that, I want to know what do you guys think about it. But we're going to carry on. It's a lot of messages here as you can see too man the brody 
you feel me, was just in a bad situation. You can see the Almighty's messages here when they rock with each other. Wait a minute, Almighty J is dating PMB Rock's ex boo. You know, it, it, it's like these women don't understand when you date people in the same field with your former lover, that's kind of messy, man. That's kind of drama. And this is what we have here. We do know allegedly she was with Almighty J because it's been was reported in March, but we didn't know about the other goon that she was seeing. In my personal opinion, I don't put that far behind the female. Just me, though. If they said the female wasn't around like that, you feel me? It's cool. If a female is dating somebody else, ain't no way I believe she's going to stop at one person. She's going to keep searching until she finds somebody she likes. My personal opinion, you don't have to like what I'm saying, but you got to respect it because it's not nothing that's made up. It's an actual substantial situation that we got to ask about it. And my thing is, did she really love PMB? I, I honestly want to know. Because I personally feel if somebody loves you, they don't do things to hurt you. I'm not going to act like PMB Rock allegedly didn't do things to hurt her too. We're men. We do, I know I do things to hurt my wife, girlfriend, baby mamas and all that. I'm not an innocent dude. But it's like, I think that's hurting somebody, bro. Depending who you're dating to get back at your ex, that's kind of wrong, bro. Certain things are off limits. I will always uh, you know, relate to that. A lot of things are off limit and shouldn't even be dealt with, shouldn't even be messed with because a lot of things when we break up and we come back together, some things ain't no coming back from. Like I said, if I loved you and we broke up and you were dating other people, I can't really get back to you because I don't know if this other situation might come back and haunt me. I don't know how this other man felt about you when you were dating him for that little bit time you was away from me. I don't know how much he loved you. How did y'all break up? Does he got hate for me? And let's just be real. It's going to be easier for him and his bros to get me because he know my moves now because of you. He knows where I go. He knows my likes, dislikes, because I'm pretty sure you pillow talk. Most females pillow talk with their man about an ex, especially if that other man is asking about it. And in the case of PNB Rock's baby mama, she just appears to be somebody that would do something like that. I'm just giving my personal opinion. She would have to prove me wrong. You feel me? I would love to give an interview from her side. I'm unbiased. I'm a fair platform for everybody. And I'm just you know, giving the news of what's out there already. I didn't force her to break up with PNB Rock. I didn't force her to allegedly be in a relationship with Almighty J and this other alleged Robin Goon. I didn't do any of that. So people could feel in their feelings and, and, and it's always gonna be it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is. You're getting bouquets of flowers and all that about um, YBN. Uh, um, Almighty J and he's he's even letting the world know he loves you like this what Almighty J he brought he added her and said he loves her like come on y'all I'm not saying that proves anything but it proves it's substantial enough to talk about like this is wild bro something about this felt uncomfortable and people are going to speak on it it's life look I'm your guy DJ Bless One love your family love your kids and stay blessed i ain't sleeping i'm gonna produce these news all day long if somebody want to say i'm gonna milk it i'm gonna help you to stop it and quit complaining like a bitter ex because a lot of you dudes sound emasculated so what you need to do is just unsubscribe and you you won't have to worry about what i do with this platform anymore mind your business go eat your collard greens because i love me some collard greens and go eat some macaroni i need me some of that and go have a good day the internet ain't supposed to having you losing your blood pressure high blood pressure and all that you're supposed to enjoy yourself be entertained and get some informative news that's it chief i ain't trying to be nobody's father <laughs> i can give you some good words but i can't help your heart man love your family love your kids and stay blessed